What up, gang? This Ken Zerk, Ken Zilligan, Zika Milligan, the villain, Phil and and we are playing Sparking Zero. I know I normally be on RPGs and visual novels, but my nigga, this is an anime game, so, uh, you know, it, 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 it's in that field. I don't want no fucking lower difficulty. The fuck I look okay, like? Let's oh, do shit. this thing. I'm a real nigga. Real niggas don't need no lower difficulty. Fuck I look like. Oh, that shit looks cool as hell. Rot. You should join us, shit. Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? Fuck you! Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look! Fuck you! Hold on, beat his ass! Beat his ass! I can't help but wonder. That child behind you. Come here. Is that your bitch ass son? nigga? He, he's not. Fuck ass. Sit your bitch ass down. Come here, nigga. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from Wow! Oh so shit! It, it bends? You know perhaps you need Oh, he's got to bend the command man. I'll just borrow your son for a while. Oh so shit, alright, my fucking fuck. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! Sit your bitch ass down. Meteor strike. Get his ass. Hook. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Sit your bitch ass down. Oh, I thought I was gonna do something else. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Recover, recover, recover. What is this? Well, isn't that swell? If you want your little brat return safely, Kakarot, prove no. your Saiyan spirit. My son. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see 100 corpses, I kill the kid. Damn. That's your nephew, bro. Damn, chill. Go on. My child. Bro got a little bit of nigga on his on his uh, neck. He got nigga on his neck. Goku is no match for Raditz overwhelming strength. And Raditz successfully kidnaps Gohan. However, he is then treated to an unexpected reunion. Piccolo? Pickle? That's my boy. What, what are you doing here? I was pursuing him. As much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that. If you were along for the ride, hold okay. on. You mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. And then I can get back to my plans of world domination. I be forgetting Piccolo was low-key evil. Oh shit! Oh, I can decide what to do. Hold on, I I gotta see what happens if I go alone. Can I handle this myself? <laughs> Whatever you say. Goku, watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. I was about to say, you ain't gonna help Krillin? Sorry, Krillin, but you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. Master Roshi's right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin, Master Roshi, you're the best. We better head out. Bulma, got the Dragon Raider all working? You bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. Okay. All right. It's all or nothing now. Let's see this Goku, shit. wait. What? Damn. I'm trying to get to the fight. Bulma, let's follow them. Say what? 
We finna get fucked up. Goku denies Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan back with Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards an aircraft with Bulma. Goku and the others go ahead to find Raditz. They had intended to launch a surprise attack, but they are detected by Raditz Scouter. They abandon their plan and decide to face him head on. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Shut up, fuck nigga! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. Yeah! We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. Damn. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. <laughs> Why did he actually, like, say that like he was breaking bad news? Like, he was actually sad to admit. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Shit, okay. Come here, Since bitch. you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. Oh, d bro. You say it, Nigga, fight! Earlier, they're even more powerful okay. than me. He fucking playing with me, bro. This nigga's over here toying with me and shit. He's toying with me! Lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive. You fucking bitch! Get your pussy ass up there, fuck nigga! You miss, nigga! Bro! Got gotcha, your ass! Bah. Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I wanna see if you've gotten any time. Where the fuck did Piccolo come from? So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Where the hell Where the hell did Piccolo come from? He deflected it! He deflected it! How about this? You're a little fucking cum slut! Damn it. He's too strong for me. Krillin! Krillin died? What the hell is going on? Alright, now they're just staring lovingly into each, into each other's eyes. Say goodbye, Kakarot! No! Krillin! What the? Power level 1307? Bro had the exact number. Leave him alone! Leave my daddy alone! Okay, what's the move? No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again in the next world. This is true, big what? brother. That's Yo, what I be Piccolo. doing to my little brother. P Piccolo, you're attacked. Where the fuck did this nigga come from? Uh, are you insane? Maybe, but it's the only way to beat you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry you to keep ready? you waiting. Do it! Hold on, hold on. I gotta no, hit the shit. I gotta stop. hit the shit. Special, Special beam, beam cannon! Must come some pop up -popolis. It's slightly disappointing that there's no hole, but the it's balls. fine. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish, even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, You're going to hell. I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. They don't give a damn about you. The, the other two Saiyans. When? When will they arrive here? How long? 
One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Imagine if a year for Saiyans was like a Damn. month for humans. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. Wipe They'll you all out? Soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> Alright, bro. Hurry up and die. That boy is stressed. Piccolo was stressed. He was so he was so mad that he ever even said shit. Uh, after Goku perishes in the battle with Raditz, Kami arranges for him to train on King Kai's planet. And just as Raditz said, within a year, the two Saiyans come to Earth. Finally, having completed his training on King Kai's planet, Goku is revived by the Dragon Balls and returns once more to the battlefield. Yeah. His dumbass! Fucking dumbass! Unable to escape, Yansha dies in the explosion induced by the self-destructing weapon the Saiyans had made. One by one, the other warriors also fall at the hands of the terrifyingly powerful Saiyans. Just when all hope seems to be lost, Goku arrives on the scene. <laughs> How's it feel seeing your little friend's corpse has scattered all over? There was another one. But there's probably not a scrap of him left. Chotsu! Piccolo's gone. Damn. What, you gonna throw a fit, small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. You'll pay for this! You'll both pay! You bastards! Out of my way! Damn, damn! Damn! What does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? Sit your pussy ass down. That scouter's a piece of junk. It's gotta be a mistake. It doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! Oh, damn! No, stop! No! No, sorry! I'm oh, sorry! Come here, get his ass. Right. Get his bitch ass. You're the greatest Goku. Show that muscle head who's boss. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. They don't have the move where he like and it throws his ass though. That's unfortunate. Uh huh. Spear bomb this bitch. Spear bomb this ball, bitch! Ah! Kaioken! Bro, get up! Bro, get up! Get up, nigga! Damn! Pussy. Sad in. Bitch ass! Bitch! Vegeta! Help me! Vegeta, if you don't kill this nigga, he don't deserve your help! You don't deserve my nut! What? Vegeta! Vegeta! No! Vegeta, yes! I... Oh, my fault. I was not Go looking. White. Dirty fireworks! Yeah. No, that's not what he did to fucking this Napa. He did that shit to Q. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. Nah, he was dead weight. Bro was weak as shit. To get back to Kami House where it's safe. But... No, he's right. You saw what that other Saiyan can do. If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way. Fuck out of here. Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either. Okay, I understand, Dad. Listen to your daddy. Huh? 
Vegeta becomes enraged as he watches Nappa being beaten to a pulp by Goku. Unable to control his wrath, he murders his own comrade. Sensing the immense danger looming, Goku tells Gohan and Krillin to return to Kame House immediately. Then, as Krillin requested, he moves the battle to another location. Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me. Makes no difference. Goku selects a location devoid of human or animal life to challenge Vegeta to a one-on-one -on -one battle. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your gravesite. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak, much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Bitch! Yes, and as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his Boy. mind to it. You rocking with outcasts. <laughs> it's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone. Oh shit! Fuck! Damn! This nigga strong! Sit your bitch ass down! Fucking hell, okay. He's kicking my ass! He's kicking my ass! He's actually fucking me up! Oh my goodness! This nigga is powerful! Am I actually fighting Vegeta? No, stop! Bitch, bitch, bitch! Catch a, catch a spirit bomb! Catch a spirit bomb! Woo! What the? There's no way in hell that you can stop my Gallic gun! You and this whole I'm almost dead! No! No! Come on! Come on! Yes! It's a choke. Woo! This shit might be tough. This shit might be difficult. Oh, I did that shit though. It's been a hard-fought battle, but summoning his last ounce of strength, Goku manages to counter Vegeta's attack. So hit Vegeta was hit, Go Goku can still sense his trace of his key remaining. Yajirobe emerges from his hiding place, but Goku instructs him to flee. Sure enough, Vegeta rises once more, ready to challenge Goku again. Goku believes his only chance for victory is to use a spirit bomb. However, Vegeta has a secret technique known only to Saiyans up his sleeve. Burst open and mix! Huh? Man. What was that? What are you planning? I heard this you fight really was. You should have never gotten rid fucked. of your tail, Kakarot. But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of. Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong! I'm going back there! Go on, hold up! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> don't blink, Jackarot! 
will be your final moment. Fucking great A. Am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey. This is crazy. How do I fight this thing? I heard this fight was damn near impossible. With a hundred foot tall monster. With no other options left, Goku decides to use a technique King Kai taught him. Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the earth and make a spirit bomb. What made him think Vegeta was gonna let that happen though? <laughs> chill, 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 chill! No what the what? fuck? I'll have to use every other No! I can't even fucking dodge! I have to block! No, you slight! Run away! It didn't work! Goku falls to Vegeta, with the remaining- Fuck, okay. All right, shit, okay. NIGGA! All of that was- Was me? I owe this to- Bitch ass down. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. All right, get the hell out of there. I'll have to use every ounce of my energy. For oh, you slut? You're not gonna let me, are you? Block. Why can't I do my ultimate? Body, don't fail me now. No, don't do that! Woo! Run! <laughs> Fuck! I was so close! I had his ass! If I could use my ultimate, bruh! So bitch ass, come here, nigga. Damn! Come on. Solar flare. Solar flare. That's canon. That's, that's literally what I did. To buy the time he needs, Goku uses his solar flare on the grade eight before him. Goku then makes a run for it, getting as far away as he can. There. Okay, I think I put enough distance between us. He gathers a little key from all the living creatures on Earth to fire one final shot with the hope of turning things around.
Damn, this looks so beautiful. This is the end of the line, Kakarot. Even if you do manage to come back to life, this miserable planet won't be around anymore. Die! <laughs> Consider that a little farewell present. Fuck your eyes. I don't have the strength to lift a finger. So just do what you're gonna do to me, alright? Take your best shot! Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! Vegeta pretty as shit, though. How dare you scar his face? Those red eyes are menacing, though. Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a grape! Yeah! <laughs> Why don't I kick it up a notch? Woo! I know that shit hurt. <laughs> What's that I hear? Every bone in your body breaking? Must hurt. <laughs> I think your friends are here. How quaint. What are you gonna do? Yajirobe, who has been waiting for the right moment to attack, leaps on and slices off the grade 8 Vegeta's tail. Vegeta returns to his regular form. However, Goku remains incapacitated. Neither Krillin nor Gohan stand a chance against even a weakened Vegeta. Calling Krillin to his side, Goku entrusts him with the spirit bomb. All that's left is to wait for an opening to use it. This is it. This must be... Genki Dama! It's all up to you now. What the heck are you doing just standing there? You gonna throw the dang thing or what? Huh? No choice now. Jin is like, the fuck is that shit? We've. Bouncing back, go on. I promise, it won't hurt you. Vegeta survives the spirit bomb. Caught by the light of Vegeta's small, false moon, Gohan transforms into a great ape and proceeds to corner him. Krillin is just about to finish Vegeta off once and for all when Goku stops him, telling him to let him go. Having narrowly escaped death, Vegeta departs Earth. Now aware of the existence of Planet Namek, Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma believe it may hold a new set of Dragon Balls. As Goku needs more time to recuperate, the three set off for Planet Namek without him. I thought I bought Yajirobe already. Okay. This is tough. Or maybe I can, maybe I can do the whole shit. One about one month after the group set off on their journey, Goku receives an SOS from Planet Namek. With the help of Yajirobe's Sensu Beams, Goku, now fully recovered, boards the spaceship Bulma's father had prepared for him and sets off for Planet Namek. On the spaceship, Goku continues his training. Before arriving on Planet Namek, he manages to break every limit to attain greater power than he's ever known. Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on Planet Namek in search of the Dragon Balls. A newly recovered Vegeta also arrives, hoping to lay his hands on the very same balls. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! That's hard. 
Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's underlings, but Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fighters, the Ginyu Force. In response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and the others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force was no cakewalk. Goku arrived in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. Riku! Riku? Fighting? Bamba! Bamba! Stop that! No, fuck you think, nigga. Sit your ass down. Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. Matt, you little punk. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Damn. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Hmm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach you, Shield Punk, why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! This is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Force. Here it goes! Sit your ass down! How dare you! Hold on, I'm not done with you, nigga! I wanna hurt your ass! Sit the fuck down. Y'all couldn't 2v1 me? Why y'all gotta have two separate ones? Let me fight Birder and Jace. I'll fuck them both. Sit down. Goku swiftly overpowers two members of the Ginyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku senses a strong key headed in the direction of Guru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls while he readies himself once more. It's time for him to put an end to Captain Ginyu. I thought it was Jace that survived. Wasn't it Jace that went to tell so Ginyu? This is the Not Burden? Huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! This is gonna be good! Sit your ass down. You nigga, I just slammed you into the ground! Bro, stop that! <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you oh, mean by that? He's trying to take me! Take that, take that. Oh, hold on, stop. He's trying to take my body. Oh, no! Get your yellow liquid out of my mouth! Change now! Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins chuckling. Then he lets out a deafening scream, shooting a yellow thing into his mouth. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinate. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! 
using my body! The others arrive to find Goku battling his own body, unknown to everyone. Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu. But first... Seeing that Burner has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Fuck Burner! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot. It's kill or be killed! After finishing off Burner, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu as taking over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! Oh no! Goku rushes to intercept Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. B bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What, what the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh! Oh no! My fault, a frog! Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between Captain and Vegeta. What in the world? Whew, that was a close one. Ribbit! Ribbit! Hmm. Thwarted, Captain Ginyu was now trapped inside a frog, and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. Um. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he is marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and he is fully healed. Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys! When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hands. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him, please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand! And so, the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them, and all the people of Planet Namek too! I will defeat you! My goodness. And I would just love to see you try. I'm gonna shoot it everywhere. I'm about to Genki Dom all over my pants. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Go on! Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Fuck Frieza! This little charade, bang. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my oh, entire shit. life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Oh my goodness, this is not going to be easy. Oh, got his tail! That's hard! Share your energy with me! Got his tail again! Such a bitch ass down! Get ready to see my real strength! Bang. 
Bro! Bro, stop! No! It's time for sudden death! Why don't we finish with the rehearsal and commence with a real battle? Save that as I as I fucking die. Okay. Every fucking time. Bitch ass. Bitch ass. They're really gonna force me to get good at this game. That's crazy. Like, they're gonna force me to play. They're gonna force me to be good at the game. The computer. Bro, I've been, like, real. I've been doing good as hell on ranked. The computers are stronger than the damn what you call it. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. Fuck. No. My only choice is to fuck for a spirit bomb. Why don't we finish with the rehearsal and commence with a Shut the fuck up. That's gonna hit. I timed that. I knew what I was doing when I timed that. I, did, I timed that like that on purpose. That actually hurt. You made me feel pain! You fucking slut! This is gonna hit. Oh my goodness. I gotta try so hard. Bad, calm down. Goku Spirit Bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At last, our heroes can wait. Or so they thought. <laughs> no, it, it can't be. Frieza's alive! No. Please. Piccolo! Frieza brought fucking terror to the world. I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home! <laughs> Krillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Go, go! Damn. <laughs> I think the brat should go next. You! You! Go! Take the girl with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! But Shut up! As I tell you right now, before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! I'm gonna hit you, nigga! Go! Overcome with pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, 
whose body can survive even in the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy Planet Namek in its entirety. With five minutes left until Planet Namek's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down there? Quit standing around and finish him. This is our one chance. It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what did you just say? Goku, listen to yourself. You're out of your mind. There's no point to this. Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time. And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down. Fuck him up! Krillin was my best friend. Frieza took him from me. He killed him in an instant. Like he was nothing! 85% now. 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. No regrets for either one. He better than me. I would have shot. I would have put a fucking blast to his damn I know skull. You want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> Fuck you, thought, nigga. As requested, this is my full power. Put your bitch ass down. He thought I was gonna wait. He thought I was gonna wait. He thought I was gonna wait. Thought I was gonna clash you, nigga. I could have. Say his name. Damn. I'm out of energy. Okay. Wild sense. Use that. Come on, meet here! Whoop! Bitch! Slap his ass! Wait! Dorisa! I'll never Can I not do the angry comment, Hamiha? You win! But you really better beat it! Don't make me regret this! Nah, he fucked up! He fucked up! He fucked up! Ah! He walked into it! He just walked into it! Actual goofball! <laughs> Actual fucking goofball! <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. Bitch. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! You gotta turn around on this bitch. Hit him with that turnaround. You fool! Oh my goodness. After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of Planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is far too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Ginyu Force, and with that, safely but narrowly escapes Planet Namek. Yet the pod is not headed for Earth, it is destined for Planet Yardrat, and Goku learns a new technique. Alright, guys, that's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll read them all, tap into the next one. Oh my goodness, bro. 
I'm, bruh, I've been waiting so long for this game. Niggas over here talking about that fucking, uh, that fight with Great Ape Vegeta was hard. Man, I handled that shit. And what? Three tries? That shit took me three tries?